Okay, I am not here today, but go ahead and open up your classwork tab because I have set out everything I think you'll need. So under quarter four, it'll say creation stories. The first thing I would do is find your name on the workshop rotation group list. You can find yourself based on what you are at the top because this will connect to what story you will be reading. Next, read the story connected to your group. This is going to be in the creation stories PDF. So, if you were Mesopotamia, it's listed at the top, Mesopotamian creation story. Oops. You scroll down, there's the Egyptian creation story, the Chinese creation story, the Hinduism or Eastern world religions is both Hinduism and Buddhism. You get to pick one. And for Western religions, there is one that encapsulates both, or sorry, all of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. So you will read your stories, and I do have the site at the bottom in case you would like to check my sources. They are always there for you. Once you have finished reading, you will create a comic that explains your story. For my hybrid kiddos, there is on the back side of your paper a physical comic strip layout that you will draw and color into. For my online weirdos, if you remember at the very beginning of the year, we did Pixton. You would sign in with your Google account, log in, Mine would log in with Google, but I'm already logged in. You would go to My Comics, New Comic. If you want to label it, Creation Story, and then whatever you are doing. And just like before, you can add panels, add backgrounds, add people. If it'll ever load, you can have everyone in your class. You can have random people. You can change what they're wearing. Actually, I think I have everyone. You can change where it's looking. You can add words. So let's say I want to have it set. Hmm. I want to be... Egypt. So I'm going to take this Egypt background and I'm going to put Icy. So Icy is now in there and when I click on her um, I can add words but I can also oops, I can have Icy say how are you doing? and it will give Icy a speech bubble. I can change what time of day it is. I can make it darker. I can make it sun, sun, sunshine. I can also change outfits. So let's say I want Icy to look like an Egyptian, or I want her to look like a Mesopotamian or Indus Valley person. Or let's say, ooh, that one's cool too. Um, we can make her look like someone from ancient China. These are all options we can choose from. You can change what they wear. So you can add words. You can change what faces these people are making. So let's say I want Icy 
to be mad. I can change her facial expression. You can add more people. And let's say we're going to have this random person. Oh, he's, because he's an adult, so he's a little bit taller. So we're going to have him, I want to change his action. I want him to be thinking. And I can choose which way he's facing. I can have different things in his hand. All of these are available and you would just add a next panel whenever you are done. So when this is all done, you would hit done, then share, share again. You are then given a link or you could email it. And it'll open up an email. My suggestion for you is to copy the link, and it'll say copy to clipboard, and email me the link. Okay? All we need to do today, if you want, you can look at multiple stories and make multiple things, but you just need to have one by the end of today. I hope we get a good sub report. Please make sure you are working independently, not with anyone else. If you need headphones to watch this video, hopefully you had figured out where they were. And please self-monitor to make sure you are on task.